Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about Call of Duty. Now, I know that's not Escape from Tarkov, but it's to do with Escape from Tarkov. So recently, we've had quite a sort of bloom in games that sort of follow the extraction style sort of uh, mechanics of Escape from Tarkov. You've had Marauders, which I don't think is released yet, but it's coming soon. I've seen some streamers play it, and it does look like sort of Tarkov in space. We've had the Cycle Frontier, which is now free to play on Steam and again that was another one that was titled sort of Tarkov in space because it has the extraction style sort of mechanics and you can lose the gear that you take in but obviously get to keep the gear that you manage to get out so it's sort of a, a genre that's starting to um, pique the interest of a lot of developers out there and I do like it when games like this get sort of rated against escape from tarkov it's like escape from tarkov is sort of the trendsetter and everybody else is going to be rated against them and i think it's pretty close between escape from tarkov and probably hunt showdown they're the two sort of leaders in the genre slightly different games different mechanics but the overall premise of the games is pretty much the same so back last year when battlefield 2042 came out and they did a tarkov mode i thought finally you know some a big big studio has decided to take on this challenge well we all know what happened we'll with Battlefield 2042, one of the biggest falls from grace for a franchise in as long as I can remember in gaming and I've been doing gaming for some nearly 30 years now so it was a big fall from grace for that franchise and just recently they announced that they will be no longer supporting the mode, they will be pumping no updates out for it, they will only fix critical bugs if they um, show themselves in it but there'll be no more support for that mode which is probably fair given the rest you know the state of the rest of the game, they really need to concentrate on the core gameplay on that before they go looking at modes like an escape from Tarkov mode. But got me wondering who's going to do it next and it looks as though Call of Duty is going to be doing it next. So Infinity Ward along with Activision have been developing a Escape from Tarkov themed mode. Now all of the information that I'm about to give you is leaked information. This mode is not officially announced yet but one of the guys that is leaking the information got everything right when he leaked information about Battlefield 2042 and it's a guy called Tom Henderson. Now there's him leaking information and another guy as well it goes by the name of Ghost something I can't remember his full name but they've both been leaking information about this mode so i think it's probably pretty nailed on that this mode is going to come out although the details of it might change between now and then so the internal name for this is dmz or dmz if you're here in the uk it's an internal name so it might not be called that when it actually does come out and it's going to release in beta with modern warfare 2 later this year now one of the reasons that they say it'll release in beta is because they need to do wider public testing with it and that's going to be the best point at which they can do it when you're going to have literally millions of people around the world buying this game it's the best way to test something but i'm guessing at the point of release they will stress that this mode is in beta and will need a lot of tweaking and changing saying it will follow sort of the escape from tarkov mechanics so you'll have to extract with things you'll also keep the gear that you go in with if you manage to extract and you'll be able to reuse it or sell it and obviously if you die in the raid you will lose the gear that you're currently carrying i don't know if you're going to get like a secure container or anything like that we'll have to wait and see about that one now there has been a bit of controversy because there has been rumors that you'll be able to sort of collect things for nfts in it and you'll be able to sell them through the like the online market i don't know how true that is and i don't know enough about nfts to really give it an informed opinion about it seems that some people love them and some people hate them from what i read a lot of people say that they shouldn't be anywhere near games but i don't know if that's going to be true with this we'll have to wait and see now tom henderson has said that the uh, the dmz mode will use the warzone 2 map as its central map the other guy that's been leaking information says that it will have up to four maps eventually some of them will be quite open world in nature some of them will be claustrophobic but tom henderson just says that it'll use the warzone map and that's that now we've just recently had an image of the new warzone map released i'll throw that up on screen it's a hell of a lot smaller than the current warzone map so I don't know how people are going to take to that unless there's going to be more than one Warzone map. I would assume that there, there must be because this is just a little bit too small for me, but there you go. But other than that, we don't really know too much about this mode. The only other thing that we know, and it's probably one of the juiciest bits of information, is that it's been in development since 2018. So that tells me that they're taking this seriously. You know, four years of development for this, they're definitely putting a little bit more into it than maybe what Battlefield put into the Hazard Zone. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like when 
when it comes out, I'll definitely be getting it. I do love a Call of Duty game. I mean, the other Modern Warfare that they did was, was it 2019? Was great. I had a good blast on that. So I'm looking forward to Modern Warfare 2. If they can capture that sort of nostalgia vibe with it, it'll be brilliant. But I'm also very interested to see what this mode has for us. So I'm going to keep looking out for news. And if I find any more, I'll do a video on it. But for now, this is all we know. Take it with a pinch of salt, because like I say, it's not officially announced yet. So we'll wait and see if it does actually sort of surface up in the proper game. I'm sure that this Tom Henderson and the other guy will still be digging for information and we'll get some more leaks as we go along. So like I say, if I find out any more juicy information about this, I will let you guys know. That being said, thank you very much for watching and listening. Everybody take care and I will catch you in the next one.